Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another plan with me and my Hobonichi cousin. This week I'm going to be using only the first sheet from our Winter Wonderland Winston kit. This is a new kit in our shop and I have never used it before so I'm very excited to see how this spread turns out. To augment the one sheet of the kit that I have, I'm going to use the Winter Winston bullet journal set. Very excited about this as well. I just love the blues. I feel like they're so soothing. And what's kind of funny about this kit is that it doesn't really snow where I live or get very cold. But on the day I'm filming this, we're expecting some winter weather, at least a few snow flurries. So that's kind of nice, even though it's the next week now, but <laughs> the sentiment is still there. Down here, I also have my birthday countdown because I am still counting down to my birthday. So we will put that down as well. For my pen, I'm using a Twisby Fine Tip. I'll link this pen and the ink I use down below. Not sure if I'll need this today, but the pen I'm going to use to write on sticker paper is a Muji gel pen in 0 0.5. I'll link this below as well, along with sticker shops, the planner, and everything else I mentioned. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in and start putting down our stickers. I'm going to start with the quote box over in the corner. Just like that. And then, of course, I want to put down the adorable Jumbo Winston. I love these big Winstons. Right there. And as for these large sort of torn paper strips, I think one will just fit across the top right here, sort of in the place of washi. Just like that. I think it's kind of crooked. I wonder if I can pull that up. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay. And then we have this blue one. I kind of want to put it right here for some reason. Okay. And then I think I'm going to skip the weekend banner this week. I just... I could put it on top of here, I guess. How would that look? Do we like that? I mean, I can just try it this week. If I don't like it, I never have to do it again. Let's do the rest of our full boxes. This one I'm going to put over here on the 14th, just so it's as far away as possible from the other Skating Winston. And then this one I'm going to put down here. I really like that little scene box. I think it's so cute. And then I'll put one, the last one, on the 11th, right about there. And then I'm going to put the last one right there. Okay, there is our full boxes. I want to put down this little fox sticker. Maybe I'll save that and put that wherever I have some extra space. And I think I'm going to wait on the swatches as well, just to make sure I can balance everything out. So let's put down the birthday countdowns. These are not the exact right color match for this spread, but they're very cute, so I want to use them. And I'm just going to stagger these around the spread. There we go. Next, I want to start my sidebar. I'm going to write down my Bible verse for the week, which was Psalm 34, verse 14. All right, that is.
is done. And I think that's really gonna be it for the intro to the spread. So let me go ahead and zoom you in and we'll get started with the week. Okay, so beginning on Monday, I needed to do a bunch of designing for the anniversary sale. Well, it wasn't really a bunch. I just essentially worked on the Dessert Winston kit the whole day. And that kit has already been sneaked on my Instagram if you'd like to see it before it officially goes live for our birthday sale. So let me see if I can find a sticker to mark designing. I think I might actually just use one of these Winston holding a heart stickers because I really like how that dessert Winston kit came out. It's actually a kit I've probably had in mind for about a year now. I just haven't had or didn't feel like the time was right to design it, but then I thought it would be really fun to do for a birthday themed week because, you know, there's cakes and stuff for birthdays, so I thought it worked out nicely. This kit was extra fun to design because I did a little bit of reformatting to the kits, so I'm very curious to see how that goes over. That is done. Then I needed to make an Instagram post about my new video that was live. I don't have icons in this kit since I am using only half of the kit essentially. So I'm just going to take this phone sticker, which is from a shop that is no longer open, and use that to mark it. Next, I wanted to do some reformat work on the kits, but there's not a ton of space here to mark stuff. And I kind of want to save my space to mark other things. So what I'm going to mark next is that I went for a walk with Ashley. I'm going to use this sticker right here and just layer it over that fake torn piece of paper thing. I think I like these scrapbooking bullet journal type of kits so much because the decorative pieces remind me of ephemera in junk journals and things like that, which I've been super into recently. I'll probably talk more about that in a future video. Okay, to mark my walk, I'm going to use a sneaker sticker from my shop. Okay, next I did get a paper delivery which was very important. I had no glossy paper left, so I needed paper delivery very badly. Okay, and that came as a package, so I have this package Winston, and I'm debating how to mark this. I guess I could use another label, but would that look weird? I think it might look weird. I wonder if I could write on this with white pen. If it goes really badly, I can cover it up with a half box. Let's be brave and try this. I have my white pen right here.
that actually turned out much better than expected, so all right, I'm happy with that. Okay, paper delivery. And then I wanted to do some writing. So I'm going to grab a writing sticker. I'm going to use this Pen Winston from my shop. Alright, and the last thing I want to mark is reading. Not very surprising, is it? And for this day, I'm going to use this stack of book stickers. This is from Alley Cat's shop. Okay, heading over to Tuesday. Well, I was going to say I'm going to put down a checklist, but because of the way that swatch kind of runs into the next day, I don't think it'll look very good. So I will save this for another day. And I'm going to start off Tuesday instead by marking that it was a super rainy day. to mark that with this umbrella sticker that is from Carly Plans. And then next I needed to fill orders and edit and upload a plane with me. So I might do a makeshift checklist the way I do sometimes. See if we have a laptop sticker. That will match the color scheme. Yes, I think this one should match. This is also from a shop that no longer exists. Actually, the laptop and the phone are from the same shop. So as I said, I wanted to fill orders and then edit and upload my plan with me. I needed to budget, so I might write that on the blue swatch of torn paper, kind of like I did on Monday. Let's grab a money sticker. I think I'm going to use one of my Payday Winstons. Next thing I want to mark is that I ate a Twix bar because Ashley brought me home one from work. I think I've mentioned before they always have food and leftovers at work so when she can she brings me some. So this day it was a Twix bar and I have this candy sampler from my shop. I don't know if I have any other 
candy stickers, but I'm going to check very quick because I kind of want to use the, oh, I have these actually, I have these chocolate Winstons. That would probably work a bit better because I was going to use that red candy bar, but the red I think would be quite obtrusive in this spread. So we'll go with this. And the last thing I want to do is mark that I finished the book I was reading. And to do that, I'm going to use one of these new finished reading trackers that are perfectly sized for the Hobonichi Cousin. These are a new release that is coming to the shop for our birthday sale at the end of the month. So if you're interested in these, definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to use, I think, the light blue one. These are very similar to the ones sized for regular sized planners, like happy planners and stuff, except they're smaller and they don't feature Winston because I was kind of afraid with these being smaller that it would be too crowded with Winston on them. But if y'all would prefer a version with Winston, let me know and I can try to work one up. But for now, I'm going to fill in the stars on this little tracker. And these stars are very tiny, so I'm using an X-Acto knife to help me put them down. If you have tweezers, that would probably be a little bit better than the X-Acto knife. I considered not even giving little star stickers and just letting people color in the boxes, but I think people enjoy the little stars. There is that. Let me fill in the actual space. over to Wednesday now. So on Wednesday, the first thing that I want to mark is that in the morning I woke up to 2,000 subscribers, which is so amazing. Thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. I really, really appreciate it and I just was so excited to see 2,000. That has been my goal for a couple of months now and I just can't believe I finally reached it. I definitely could not have done it without all of y'all's help. So again, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing with your friends. Just, it means so much to me. I was also happy to see 2000 because I've been trying really hard to post more on YouTube and I think that's helping a lot as well with growing my channel. So to mark this happy occasion, I'm going to use this Happy Maru from Paper and Milk. Alright, and next I think I'm going to be able to put down this adorable mitten checklist that I was going to use the day before. So I needed to design the Dessert Winston Hobonichi Weeks kit. Also needed to design and order journaling cards and some other stuff for our anniversary sale. I'm 
Next, I wanted to post a snake on Instagram. And lastly, I wanted to film, edit, and upload my reading goals vlog, which I will put in the cards up here because it's already live. Then I did some more writing, so I'm going to grab another writing sticker. This time I'm going to use a fountain pen, Winston. And then I want to mark that on this day, I got to try a hazelnut Kit Kat, which was so good. I love Kit Kats in general, and I had never had a hazelnut one, so I was very excited to try that. And I think hazelnut Kit Kat is better than regular Kit Kat, personally. So I don't have any more blue chocolate Winstons, so I think I am going to use some stickers from my candy sampler, but I'm going to use a Bon Bon sticker instead of the candy bar with the red label on it just because like i said it is really obtrusive After that, I needed to go get groceries. I wonder if I have a blue grocery sticker. Let's find out. I have this one that's very pale blue. I guess I'll use that. And that is from Rabbit Hole Handcraft. Then I wanted to fold and put away laundry. Once we got home, that I'm going to use a laundry Winston and I think I might put this on a label. Yeah, I'm going to use this really bright blue one. And last but not least, I want to mark that I started a new book. So I'm going to grab another book sticker. Different one from what I used the first time. This time I'm going to use a Winston holding a book.
All right, and that takes us to Thursday. So Ashley was running a little bit late in the morning. So I went out to scrape the ice off of her car for her. And I don't know if I have any ice stickers. I have very few wintry weather type stickers because as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we don't really get winter weather. So I have these super cold Winstons and then these winter on the go Winstons. I might use one of these because these are some of my absolute favorite stickers ever. You know what? I might even put this on a half box on top of this full box because otherwise I'll have to start my day way down here. There we go. And then I think I might, well first I'm gonna mark that I did a workout at home and then I'm going to probably put down a checklist. So for my workout, I'm actually gonna use this weight sticker. This is from a shop that is closed now. And I also have a lot of workout text stickers from the same shop. So I'm going to take one of those. Actually, I'm going to do it this way because this workout word is a little bit longer and that way it can go into the margin. Okay, just like that. And then I'll grab that checklist. I love the shaped checklists on these bullet journal sets. Okay, so after my workout, I wanted to design a couple of different new things for the sale. And after work, I wanted to do some writing, so I'm going to write that right here. I can already tell I'm not going to have enough to fill up the rest of this day, so I'm going to go ahead and put down my cute little fox sticker at the bottom. And the last thing I'm going to mark for this day is that I went for a walk with Ashley. I need more walking stickers. I'm gonna use this blue shoe again from my shop. Now we go to Friday as usual on Fridays. I like to start the day with a made it to Friday sticker. So let me grab one of those. I think I'm gonna use this darker blue. Right there. And then the next thing I want to mark is my workout again. 
I walk to my gym, so when it's really, really cold, I don't love walking to the gym in the mornings, especially because I usually go before the sun is up all the way, so it's just so cold with no sun and everything. So lately I've been doing workouts at home. I'm gonna use this kettlebell sticker to mark my workout and probably another workout script because I have so many. Yeah, I'm gonna take this darker one today. In the same shop as before. There we go. All right, and I'm going to use another checklist. I don't actually check these off because I think they look so cute. Plus this is a memory planner for me, so I don't really need to check it off. All right, so I wanted to print and cut some stickers. And then I wanted to format the new sticker sheets I designed. Followed by backing up my files, always important. And then I wanted to post a sneak on Instagram. I think next I'm going to mark doing some cleaning. take this cute little cleaning bucket and spray bottle one in, but I'm going to put this on a label, well, a watercolor swatch, not really a label. had breakfast for dinner this night, which is the best dinner ever. So I want to mark that if I can find a sticker that will match the spread. I have some really cute breakfast stickers, but I want something that's either more neutral or more blue. This should work. Cute little breakfast plate from Happy Daya. And I think the last thing I want to mark is that I took a bath this night. And I'm going to use this half box for that. And I also get to use one of our new rubber ducky stickers. I think I'm going to take this lighter blue one. Put that right there. So cute. And that will take us up to the weekend. Alright, I did sleep in both days. So I'm going to try and mark that. Okay, on Saturday I'm going to take this Sleepy Winston. Put that right here. And 
I'll just go ahead and do Sunday too. I think for Sunday I'm going to use this sticker. This is from Happy Day Of. Okay, now back to the main part of Saturday. So Ashley and I spent most of Saturday antiquing actually. We went to a couple of different antique shops because I wanted to look for some vintage ephemera. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I've been really into junk journaling and that kind of scrapbooking with old paper and little bits and bobs lately. Well, I say I'm getting into it. I haven't actually done any myself, but I've been watching YouTube videos and I just think it's the coolest thing. So I wanted to go and try and find some real vintage ephemera and I found some old newspapers and some postcards and different stuff like that. So that was really exciting. And I definitely plan to have some videos about that up on my channel soon. I don't know if any of y'all are into junk journaling or ephemera, but I would love to know if you want to comment below and tell me. I just think it's so fun as I was going through all the stuff I found. I just love touching the old paper and it's just so cool to see all this historical stuff. I got some newspapers from the 1800s, which is really cool, and then I had some magazines from the 1940s, also very cool. I just love going to antique shops in general, they have the neatest stuff. Most of which I don't need, but I would definitely buy if I had the chance. <laughs> Especially the old furniture, I love old furniture. Okay, unfortunately when I got home this day, I had a pretty bad headache, so I just sort of relaxed for a couple of hours and that made me feel better. So I'm going to mark that really quick. I think I'm going to use this sad face from Grin and Barrett Plans. But then, once I felt better, I wanted to take out all the ephemera I had gotten and start cutting it up and sorting it into little, I don't know what to call it, like categories, I guess, because I was going to sort out, you know, recipes, postcards, photographs, stuff like that. So when I wanted to grab something, I would know where to go to get it. I should probably also mention that I bought... I don't know, seven or so newspapers and a lot of postcards and different things. So I have more ephemera than I need. So if y'all are interested in ephemera, vintage ephemera for junk journaling or scrapbooking, let me know and I can try to put up some of it in my shop because I definitely, I mean, it would probably take me years to use everything I bought already. So if y'all are interested, just let me know. Gonna use this little planner cart sticker to mark sorting my ephemera. That's from a shop that no longer exists. You know, I hope I'm pronouncing that word right. Ephemera, is that right? Because I learned that word from reading, so <laughs> hopefully hopefully it's correct or semi-correct. Alright, I also wanted to refill my Twisby on this day, the one I'm currently writing with. So I'm going to grab this ink bottle sticker. This is off the fountain pen Winston sheet. And last but not least, I want to mark reading. So let's see, I think I'm going to use one of these glasses Winston's. I haven't used that yet this 
spread. And that takes us over to Sunday. So this was not a very eventful day by any stretch of the imagination. I think I want to start by putting down a Lazy Day Sloth sticker. Y'all know I love these. And then what else? I did cut up some more ephemera this day. So I guess I can mark that. But what kind of sticker should I use for that? I guess I'll have to make myself ephemera stickers. But in the meantime, I'm going to use this Winston holding a heart. I also wanted to clean my diffuser this day. Let me see if I have a cleaning sticker. Okay, I found this cleaning sticker in my leftovers binder. I think it might be from Planner Choco, but don't quote me on that. Last thing I'm going to mark is washing my hair. So let me grab a washing hair sticker. I guess I should put it on a swatch because this is the last opportunity I have to use a swatch. Here we go. Okay, and that is going to wrap up my week. Let me straighten up and I'll zoom you out. Okay, there we have it, my completed Winter Wonderland Winston spread. This was so fun to use, a new kit in my planner, and I love how this turned out. I really love the torn paper. I want to incorporate more of that into my spreads. That's probably one of the reasons I want to get into junk journaling, because ripped up paper is very common in there. But anyway... I hope you enjoyed seeing me put the spread together. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye!